Let us discuss this example. In this example, we have to solve double integration where the region is given in this way. Okay. So first of all, we will try to find the region of integration and after that we will solve double integration. See what we have. Let me write here. We have. See, we have mod x less than or equal to 1. Getting So when we have inequality, first we consider equality there to draw the curves. Okay, so I'm considering mod x is equal to 1. So obviously that is, we can write x is equal to plus minus 1. See, if, if x is equal to 1 or x is equal to minus 1, we will have mod x is equal to 1. So that means we have two curves, x is equal to 1 and x is equal to minus 1 x is equal to 1 represents a line which is parallel to y axis okay i will show that line here a line which is parallel to y axis passes through x is equal to 1 so we have this type of line here okay i am calling it as x is equal to 1 x is equal to minus 1 this is again a line which is parallel to y axis but it passes through x is equal to minus 1 so that means this line will be here Okay, we have this line so we are calling it as x is equal to minus 1 let us go further after that we have 0 less than or equal to y less than or equal to 1 plus mod x first i consider this inequality i will replace inequality by equality so we have y is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 this is equation of x axis that means region is bounded by x axis y is equal to 0 next we have y less than or equal to i am replacing by equality so y is equal to 1 plus mod x that is y is equal to 1 plus or minus x so we will consider both cases y is equal to 1 plus x and y is equal to 1 minus x so therefore i am considering first y is equal to 1 plus x here y has power 1 x has also power 1 so it represents a line so let me mention this is a line so we know that to draw any line we need to have any two points on a line so let us find any two points on that line so for that i am drawing this table okay so having values of x values of y and at the end we get point first of all i will put x is equal to 0 any value you can put there but normally we put x is equal to 0 and then we put y is equal to 0 if i put x is equal to 0 so the value of y is 1 so the point is 0 comma 1 and if you put y is equal to 0, by solving we will have x is equal to minus 1, getting? So the point is minus 1 comma 0. So let us find these points. 0 comma 1 will be here, right? 0 comma 1 and minus 1 comma 0 it will be here. So if you join them, we will have a line like this. Okay, so this line we have, let me mention here y is equal to 1 plus x. Let us go further. We have a second line also y is equal to 1 minus x. This is again a line since power of x and y both of them are 1. We will follow the same method to find that line. Okay, so that means we have to draw a table values of x, values of y and xy. Okay, so first we consider x is equal to 0, then we, we will consider y is equal to 0. If I put x is equal to 0, so the value of y is 1, so the point is 0 comma 1 and if you put y is equal to 0 here so value of x is 1 so the point is 1 comma 0 that means this line passes through 0 comma 1 and 1 comma 0 0 comma 1 is here 1 comma 0 will be here so let me join them by straight line so we got line in this way so let me mention here y is equal to 1 minus x so this line also we have got okay so all curves we have drawn let us find out the region since many region we have got here so maybe you will get confused which region we have to take mod x less than or equal to 1 that means x should lie between minus 1 and 1 so we have these two straight lines x is equal to minus 1 x is equal to 1 so definitely 101 percent region lies between these two lines okay next 0 less than or equal to y that means region should be in positive side of y axis getting y should be positive greater than or equal to 0 so that means region should be above the x axis so region bounded by these two lines above the axis x axis that thing is clear y less than or equal to 1 plus mod x that means you know that uh, mod x can have plus x or minus x values 
so that means y should be less than or equal to 1 plus x and 1 minus x also so that's why if you consider both things okay so this should be the region of integration okay uh, let me show it here okay so this is our region of integration which will satisfy all conditions okay see so this is region of integration it satisfies all conditions which is bounded by x is equal to minus 1 x is equal to 1 as well as x axis it is above the x axis as well as it will satisfy this condition also we know that in 12th standard we have already seen graph of y is equal to mod x which is this one getting v shape so 1 plus mod x that means it is shifted above and we have mentioned y should be less than or equal to that means region below this v shape so this is the required region of integration see we cannot consider uh, we can uh, single strip to solve this problem the problem is that okay let me show it here so if i consider a strip like this okay for this region of integration we have to consider a strip like this so if you move in this way okay if you move that means if you move it here then we will have a strip like this here so strip is bounded above by y is equal to 1 minus x but when you shift this strip to that side in that case the strip will be bounded above by y is equal to 1 plus x that means if you move the strip it is bounded by two different curves so it is better to divide the region in two parts i am calling it as r1 okay i hope you are getting so this this shape this is r1 and this is region r2 we will solve those double integrations separately for region r1 and r2 and at the end we are going to add to get a final answer let me mention here consider a strip parallel to y axis okay consider a strip parallel to y axis okay so you know that when we consider a strip parallel to y axis we write y varies from y varies from y is equal to to y is equal to and x varies from x is equal to to x is equal to so when we consider a strip parallel to y axis we always write that thing let us focus on region r1 only strip is bounded below so you know the funda bounded below bounded above left to right strip is bounded below by x axis whose equation is y is equal to 0 next bounded above strip is bounded above by this line y is equal to 1 minus x so i should write y is equal to 1 minus x after that we move strip from left to right in left okay it will start at this line where the value of x is minus 1 we are moving strip like this and for region r1 okay will be over here so at this point strip will stop where the value of x is 0 this is y axis getting at y axis the strip will stop since region r1 will be over and equation of y axis is x is equal to 0 so i should write x is equal to 0 so therefore i will call it as i1 that means double integration of f over r1 right so this is equal to integration with respect to x minus 1 to 0 integration with respect to y 0 to 1 minus x right what is my f our f is x plus y x plus y dy dx our strip is parallel to y axis so we should integrate with respect to y first then we will integrate with respect to x make a screenshot of it after that we will go further so let us solve it further so integration of this bracket with respect to y okay so x and all functions of x will be constant here for inner integral okay integration of x is x y integration of y is y square by 2 with limit 0 to 1 minus x dx right now we will put upper limit first so integration minus 1 to 0 so we'll have x 1 minus x right plus 1 minus x square by 2 if i put 0 we will have 0 everywhere so i will skip that step so this is equal to integration minus 1 to 0 first of all i will solve this bracket x minus x square plus 1 minus x square by 2 dx okay so let me solve here this is equal to now we have to integrate with respect to x integration of x is x square by 2 okay minus integration of x square is x cube by 3 x cube by 3 plus 
what about this 1 minus x square okay just a minute so integration of this bracket will be 1 minus x cube by 3 see square is there now you know integration of x square is x cube by 3 same formula i'm using so bracket cube divided by 3 but see 2 is already there so 3 into 2 i suppose to write 6 and the multiple of x is minus 1 so you know that when we take integration we always write multiple of x in denominator multiple of x is minus 1 so that's why i'm writing minus n here with limits minus 1 to 0 let us put upper limit first so if you put upper limit we will have 0 0 here we will have some non-zero value so 1 cube that means 1 upon minus 6 so that that's why i'm writing minus 1 by 6 minus if you put minus 1 there okay let us see what will happen so minus 1 square is 1 1 by 2 minus 1 cube is minus 1 so minus minus plus 1 by 3 plus minus 1 if you put there minus minus plus 2 cube which is 8 by 6 but minus sign is there so minus 8 by 6 okay so let us simplify it further minus 1 by 6 minus you can cross multiply so we'll have 5 by 6 minus minus plus so you will have 8 by 6 okay so see all of them have the denominator 6 so you can add numerators this is minus 6 plus 8 getting minus 6 plus 8 that means this is 2 by 6 which is 1 by 3 so the value of i1 that means double integration over r1 we have got its value is 1 by 3 okay after that we will consider region r2 make a screenshot of it then we will go further so now consider region r2 in r2 we have a strip parallel to y-axis funda we will follow bounded below bounded above left to right c strip is bounded below by x-axis so its equation is y is equal to 0 i should write y is equal to 0 strip is bounded above by this line whose equation is y is equal to 1 plus x i should write 1 plus x here after that we have to move strip from left to right see region r2 start at y-axis getting so in left it is bounded by y-axis so i should write y-axis whose equation is x is equal to 0 and strip will move like this and it will stop at this line whose equation is x is equal to 1 I should write x is equal to 1. So in this way, we got limits. Let us consider those limits and solve the integral. Having limit 0 to 1, integral limits of y 0 to 1 plus x and one, x plus y, this is a function. I should write dy dx. See, our strip is parallel to y axis. So that's why we integrate with respect to y first, then we integrate with respect to x. Let us solve this integration. This is equal to 0 to 1. We are integrating with respect to y integration of x with respect to y is xy integration of y is y square by 2 having limits 0 to 1 plus x dx let us put upper limit first so 0 to 1 we will have x 1 plus x plus 1 plus x square divided by 2 if i put 0 we will have 0 obviously okay so i will skip that step let us go further so this is equal to i will simplify it first okay then we will integrate so let us solve this bracket x into 1 x x into x x square right plus 1 plus x bracket square by 2 dx so let us integrate now integration of x is x square by 2 integration of x square is x cube by 3 integration of this one is 1 plus x cube by 3 getting a just like integration of x square is x square by x cube by 3 same formula i use but see if i write 3 but already 2 is there so that's why 3 into 2 6 i suppose to write multiple of x is 1 okay so we always take multiple of x in denominator so it is 1 1 into 6 6 again so i will not write anything with here limits 0 to 1 so let us put upper limit first 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 if i put 1 here 1 plus 1 2 cube which is 8 by 6 if i put 0 what will happen 0 this one will be 0 this one will be 0 simply here we will have some non-zero value 1 plus 0 1 cube that means 1 by 6 we will cross multiply so we will have 5 by 6 for first two terms okay for first two terms here both of them have the same denominator you can subtract numerators 8 minus 1 we will have 
minus uh, sorry plus 7 by 6 if you add it is 12 by 6 that means 2 so this is value of i2 that means double integration over region r2 after that uh, we will consider both to get a final answer make a screenshot of it then we will go further so the final answer will be i is equal to i1 plus i2 so i1 was 1 by 3 i2 we have got 2 so if you add so if you cross multiply we will have 7 by 3 so this is the required answer okay make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye